Franco Chanel is the ultimate expression of uh, endless creativity, where we have full freedom to express creativity in a very big collection, solicitating exceptional stones and savoir-faire. Our singular history starts at the very beginning by Gabrielle Chanel herself. So Gabrielle Chanel, in 1932, revealed her one and only high jewelry collection called Bijoux de Diamant. Very important in the collection, of course, was the themes that inspired her. So there was the sun, the star, the moon. Probably coming back to the very origin of Gabrielle Chanel, she was raised in the center of France, and the pavement of this abbey was proposing comet, sun, and moon. But more important than the themes is also the way she considered the jewel, and most important, the idea of the woman who will wear the piece. For me, the blue, dark blue velvet was uh, directly linked to this collection. And for me, the blue evokes the night sky, not totally black, but with a touch of something that is more poetic. And this is why I use many blue sapphires, a blue diamond, tanzanite, and blue opals. masterpiece, Allure Celeste necklace. We could wear um, about 20 different uh, versions. Around the stars are detachable to be worn as brooch. As well, there is the long pendant that is detachable and wearable as a bracelet at the same time. So transformability is uh, something that is very important. Freedom of movement, for instance, on this uh, piece of jewelry, the, the flexibility that helped to have a very natural movement of the, the piece of jewelry when you wear it. I think Chanel, uh, what is important for us, of course, the creation is in Paris. Everything starts in Paris the creation and the know-how for jewelry. So we have our Studio de Création, 18 Place Vendôme. In the same location, we have also our workshop for high jewelry. So creation is in Paris, but Chanel resonates internationally. I think, of course, it resonates in Asia, but it resonates in the US, it resonates in Europe, uh, because I think our proposition, yes, speaks to all women in the world.